Yo, 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 what's up everybody? This is King Frey from Team DLG coming at you with a wonderful video which are the top five budget decks I consider to be quite awesome in this format for the January, February 2021 format. And these decks, you can build for $100. Yes, that's right, $100. <laughs> so, first off, we gonna start with a deck that's tried and true to my heart, man. It's Dinos at number five. Why the low ranking, you say? Um, mostly because kind of need two Archosaur, and right now those guys are like $60. So you can't build this build right now with two Archosaur for $100. Um, but the deck is tried and true. Freaking OT Tyranno is a freaking beast. Always has been a beast, always will be a beast. Hey, come on now. They, they kept missing three. They kept missing three. <laughs> Thanks, Konami. Appreciate you <laughs> for giving us so much consistency. But all jokes aside, playing one Archer Sword actually isn't that bad. My whole build only had one in it. Um, it. It definitely got me there so many times. Like, if you don't automatically get an Archer Sword, and get Joe Dunn on um, OT Tyranno out, probably turn one, you probably doing something wrong. True. Uh, number four, Prank Kids. They just got some new support. That new um, Link Monster they just got, I forgot the name of the guy. But it is a one turn, and I mean one turn starter for all the Prank Kids. Literally gets you into combo plays that you have never been able to do for the most part with prank kids. Absolutely blows the whole deck out the water. You could go in a, literally a link four with the absolute quickness. Now with this build, you actually might be able to fit in an access code talker. The, the core is pretty cheap for the most part. The only card that's really gonna cost you is prank kids plays. It's running at about $15, $16 right now. So you definitely need about two, three of those in the deck to make it run with consistency. So, you know, if you want to go with a little, with one, maybe two crank kids places, you might be able to fit it into your extra deck. Just maybe, just a thought. If you want to slightly go over. Um, number three. <laughs> Another deck that I'm well aware of, I've played a million times, it is the one and only Sky Striker. Remember when that was a format warp and said everybody that we got all that fun Sky Striker stuff? There's a reason why Engage is still bad. <laughs> there is a reason for that. It makes everything in that deck so consistent and even without it, that deck is probably one of the better control decks in this control format that we're playing right now. It literally, <laughs> like it can stop most combos. VMD is a problem for you? Cool, you got three spells in your grave? Go ahead, snatch it with Widow Anchor, which they gave us back. Thank you, Konami. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> but most of this deck is really dirt cheap for the most part, especially if you're not going after, you know, the collector's rares and the parallel. Most definitely one of the cheapest decks you could possibly build. That is a pretty dang good contender. By the way, I played decks three to five at one point or another. And I can attest to how powerful all three of them are. I got to play striker when it had engage, man. I, I miss it every day. <laughs> now, coming in at number two, I bet you guys wasn't expecting this. It's gonna be virtual worlds. Um, yeah, guess what? It's meta and it's cheap. Holy crap, isn't that something special? So, the only card that's gonna cost you a little bit of a grip is Virtual World Lose. She is $16, $17 a pop. And you definitely have to run three of her. So other than you spending, you know, a little over $50 for her, the rest of the core is pretty dirt cheap. And I think the Synchro Monster is only like $4. You only run a few of that, so it's like, y'all want to play meta. Y'all say y'all always want to play meta. 
and y'all wish it was cheap. Here is your opportunity. Play virtual world while it's still at budget. Because I know we're supposed to be getting a new wave of support probably within the next couple months. And you do not want to miss getting this while it's cheap. Because once that support come out, there is no guarantee you'll be able to play it then. And now, my number one pick for the competitive budget deck of this format for January, February, 2021, Alter guys. <laughs> Alter guys. Oh my Jesus. And as I said, this is a control format. Who controls a board state better than Alter guys? Truthfully. Since its inception. Who has done it? I know a lot of people would think Striker would be up here. That's why it's number three. Striker is great, but Alter guys has so much consistency to control the game in game in and game out once you see a multi faker it's kind of a done deal have you ever been torrential and then upon resolution see a multi faker have you if the answer is yes then you know what I mean <laughs> like and then there's two ways you can go about this for a hundred dollars because the ultra guys court it's been reprinted to high heaven. You can either go Pot of Extravagance, buy two of those, and you'll be okay. Maybe even three if you want to get a little frisky with it. Or you can buy two of that um, Ice Dragon, that Ice Dragon trap. Yeah, it's $45 right now. Yeah, it's expensive, but. It is incredibly powerful for the current meta right now. You want to out Dragoon? Easy. Play that trap. Bring back the red eyes. Pop it. <laughs> or bring back the Dark Magician, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, he's a spellcaster. You can... Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like... Dragoon can be easily stopped because it doesn't target it. It actually banishes it and the target that you special summon from the graveyard. Easy. This is this, this the easiest thing you could possibly do to out Dragoon. And Ultra Guys can do it. And then upon resolution, say it with me Multi Faker. <laughs> Multi Faker goes get Silicoidus. We know where this goes from here. Personally. That's why I had to choose all the guys as my number one pick for the competitive decks for this particular format. That has been my time. This is Keith Frage, the one and only King Frage from TVFG, signing out. See you later. Hey guys, it's Ren from Team DFG. Thank you so much for watching this video and remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. Also, feel free to check out our Facebook page where we have exclusive content as well as updates. Links in the description. Thanks so much again guys and see you in the next video.